Hey everyone, welcome back to another Sims 4 YouTube video. Today is going to be a download tutorial for the free range mod by Lot51. I've been getting a lot of questions about how to get it to work and how to download it. So I figured why not just make a video explaining it because I did a mod review on it a while ago, which I can link in this video so that you guys can go and watch that if you want like an actual like mod review for it. But Today we're going to be focusing on actually downloading the mod, which is pretty simple, but I think the mod setup in game is where it can get tricky. So we'll go over all of that today. So let's get into it. All right. So of course, this is their website, Lot51. They've got a bunch of different mods, but this is the one that we're going to be looking at. You do need Cottage Living is required and the core library. Now I do have the core library in my game and I'm wondering, it's actually out of date. So it's a good thing I came to this website. So you want to make sure that you have the core library for this mod. That's going to be how it works. And then we need to download the actual mod itself. You can also do this on CurseForge's app as well, and it will go directly into your mod folder. But for those of you who don't want to use CurseForge, this is their website. I will link both of them on here because even if we go to CurseForge, we can go ahead and download this mod from here as well. So I'm just gonna download it from the actual website because I'm already on here. Anyways, so we're gonna download at Hyper speed now it's going to pop up with this window you do not have the core library get core library if you already have the updated version just hit continue but because I need to actually update the core library I'm going to get this and then it will download and then you can hit continue to download the actual mod itself so now we move to my favorite part of actually putting it in your mod folder all right so by now I think if you've been watching my channel for a while you probably already know what to do this is my mod folder this is my download folder now I use Use what is called breeze zip to unzip your files you can use whatever platform you want but I need to actually delete the core file for lot 51 because it is out of date as we saw but we're gonna double click on it and then we'll go ahead and hit extract it'll go ahead and extract and then a little file like this will actually pop up you can either just click on downloads or just exit out of this and then go to move this file over and then it'll pop up here and we're gonna do the same thing for the free range so double click that extract we'll wait for it to extract the file and then we can just do the same thing that we did for the other file now this is just a package with the ts script so make sure it looks like this and then we can move that file over into our mod folder and after you've done all of that we can go ahead and head into the sims 4 game now i do want to point out that there has been an update for the sims 4 so make sure you update your game the mod should work because i think this is just our free update we got a couple like base game stuff too but yeah we have kids coming out tomorrow so that should be fun. They have the patch notes on the Sims 4 website from today's, you know, update. So if you want to go look at those, you can probably not look at those today just because there's a lot of stuff that happened within, you know, the Sims update. I feel like every time we get an update, it can be good or bad. Oh, and we also got our Reaper rewards. Sorry, I'm just like obviously logging into the sims today but yeah we got our reaper rewards and i need to turn my mods on which make sure you do that if there's an update this is important because the update came out today so if you guys are like caroline i followed all these steps but my mods aren't popping up turn them on because i know i'm not the only one that forgets to do that i have like updated the game and gone into my save files and forgot to turn on my mods and then like everything's gone and i'm like what is happening anyways we're now in the game so what i'm actually gonna do is to make sure that we've downloaded this correctly we're gonna go into other and then view custom content and it should pop up of all the things so we got lot 51 free range right here and then we want to make sure that it's also in the script mods as well so lot 51 core lot 51 free range it looks like we've got all of that so that's how it should look along with your other mods that you have in game all right so if you watch my my last youtube video you probably already know what this this sim family household is but i wanted to show you how to actually get it to work so obviously go into build mode this is gonna be a little bit out of place but it doesn't matter we're gonna go down to custom content make sure you're on like show all because this is what you want these two things okay this is very important to know we're gonna place one of these down which is the shelter the marker so it basically is the marker 
of where your animals will go to like their stalls. So I'm gonna put one here and then you can have another one for like grazing. So if you wanted to have it over here, you can place it there. Now, the only thing about it is if you go into live mode, it's not there. You're gonna have to click around the area to get to the livestock shelter. Now you can build a house. So like if I wanted to build it really quickly, we can go into, I might've actually done this backwards. It's okay. You know what? I'm just gonna move this and then we can make like a little house. Okay, it's not the prettiest, but we're not going for cutesy. We're going for, you know, a quick little little review on how to get it set up. So we'll have, we'll place this down. I'll put it in the middle. You can make them look all cute. You know, they don't have to look like a prison cell right here, but just so that we can understand what, what I'm trying to do here. So once you place those down, we can go ahead and click anywhere really and go to livestock shelter and then shop the Appaloosa Ranch and Stables. And then here's where we can buy all of, you know, our animals. Now this will refresh in a day, but you need to buy them, I'm pretty sure, through this page in order for it to work. So we can buy a llama, we can buy some cows. I kind of want to buy a bluebell because I think that's a perfect name for a cow, but also she is $1,200. But why is there another bluebell for $400? I'm just going to get this one. And then we can also get some food as well. I think we'll get some golden treats and then we can, you know, check mark. And now we've got Bluebell and now they're free range. So really Bluebell can make her own decisions now, you know, about what she wants to do. We can socialize with them. We have another patch over here so that they're able to walk around freely. You know, again, you can make it all cute doesn't gotta look like a prison cell like this. But that should be how you set it up. And remember guys, if you ever need to find where the markers are, go into build mode. It's not gonna show up, obviously, if you're in live mode. But if you click near the area of where the pet is, you should be fine. Now, I don't understand why Bluebell isn't moving. I just gave my cow a treat. Look at how cute this is. Yeah, but your cows and whatever you order should move on their own. All right, so I did get a little sidetrack. I felt bad and I made Bluebell a little house. I call it Chick-fil-A. I feel like it kind of looks like Chick-fil-A. I'm not the best builder, but you know, if I'm gonna have an animal be free range, I might as well look, you know, make their, you know, little building cute. You do need to build them a shelter. You cannot use the cottage living like rabbit hole one. You gotta build them one. So why not, you know, make it look cute. I actually love the flooring with love struck. We got this cow print. I think Bluebell feels at home. You can also add different things for them, you know, to make it look a little bit more obviously like a barn. Um, I don't know why she's not moving. I mean, maybe wait, 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 <gasps> she's stuck. Am I, is this a she or a he? I think it's a she because we can milk it. But anyways, I think she's stuck in the wall. This is the most Sims animal I've ever met. They're always stuck in the walls. UI cheats is broken. Anyways, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. I could sit here talking forever about what you could do, what you couldn't do, but you can set up the markers. So you can, I mean, you can put one or you can put a couple, but don't put too many, but you just want to put it where it's the grazing area. So for instance, on my property, I just put it out front. So I mean, if I wanted to, I can move it in here, but that's for my, my horses. You know, I don't know where my horse is. Oh, there's my horse. This is Apollo and the horses are free range. They didn't get stuck in a rabbit hole. So anyways, I don't know why Bluebell's stuck. Oh, oh, here we go. She got unstuck. There we go. So yeah, that, that's the mod. So I guess it kind of was like a mini mod review. Hopefully this made sense and that you're able to now use the free range pack. Just remember the most important thing is to have obviously Cottage Living, have Lot 51's core file. If you don't have that, then it's not going to work and that might be causing some issues. You also need to make sure that the core file is updated is my best recommendation is even though they might say, hey, you only need this version of the core, make sure it's just updated. You want to be, you know, better safe safe and sorry and with the mod make sure it's updated as well we've had a lot of updates recently and as for this one right now i'm pretty sure 
it broke a few mods because UI Cheats is tweaking right now. But UI Cheats is normally very quick to get his mods fixed. So I will give I will give that mod creator that. Anyways, with that being said, again, hopefully this helped. Let me know if you have any more problems. I'm not, you know, a mod expert when it comes to all the coding and stuff, so I might not have all the answers, but I will say I try my best to answer all of the questions and comments that you guys leave on here. But hopefully this cleared the air with free range. And with that being said, thank you all so much for watching today's YouTube video if you enjoyed today's video make sure to leave a like and comment down below and if you want to see more content like this make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and if you never want to miss another video on this channel again make sure to push those notifications so that you never miss another video on this channel again and with that being said i will see you all on friday or maybe tomorrow because we have some kits coming out so i might make a video for you guys on that